Hello knitters, Faye Lynn from Strands Knitting Studio in San Clemente, California. And today I have projects for Christmas, easy projects and classes that'll lead you down the road to having your Christmas um, gifts all done. So stay tuned. <music> I have to apologize for last week's video. That video was a, a going down the wrong road from the very beginning. I had so much trouble with that video and clips not showing up and then and then I ended up with two clips of the same thing. Apologies. <laughs> I will do better next time. Okay, so the first I'm just gonna go down classes and show you stuff. It's all gonna be class related today. Um, so the first class is coming up this Saturday from 10 to 12 and it's the market bag which I've been showing you and everybody's having fun. I've got a few people who have already started it and it's just a really fun bag. It's great to knit. It makes a great little gift. It's a great project bag if you need project bags. So you start by making the, the bottom, just knitting back and forth for so many rows. I don't know what the rows are, depending on it's two sizes. This is the small one and there's a large one. Um, it would be a really good idea if you want to take the class on Saturday, get down here today or tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, I know, but I talked about this last week. But if you can come in tomorrow and get your yarn and you can knit the square, or get it mostly knit, then you can get to the hardest part of the bag <laughs> is just picking up around and around the square so that you have um, sides. And, and so those, that few rows, it's like a couple rows. The pattern itself is not hard. That literally is, hard, and that's not that hard, but that's literally the hardest part is picking up the stitches. And the rest of it just sails. It's just, it's a really fun bag. <laughs> so anyways, that's this Saturday from 10 to 12. Okay, next class we're gonna do is knit a sweater. And I'm probably gonna do a couple of these over the next few months. Um, if you wanna knit a sweater for a gift, now's the time to start doing it. And sweaters are really great, especially as I talked about last week, if you actually ask them what they want, you know, show them some patterns, get them to pick the pattern, don't show them everything, just show them things you wanna knit. And um, the color, the yarn, you sort of pick out the yarn and then what color do you want? You know, sort of sort of guide them into choices that you will enjoy knitting because you're gonna be knitting it. <laughs> so anyways, a sweater class. So here's some ideas for sweaters. These are our most popular sweaters over the last one or two years. Uh, people, lots and lots of these sweaters have been knit. And so I'm gonna like highlight those because it, they're, they look good on everybody and they're simple knits, they're not complicated knits, and so they make a really good gift idea. So the Weekender is the first one. So Andrew Mowry. You can do this out of any worsted weight yarn. We did it out of the um, um, Merino Silk from Noro, and as I've, all, as I've said, this is like more of a silk feel than a wool, but it's really silky. You feel the silk, there's a lot of silk. Um, we have several colors, but again, this is worsted weight. So you, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of choices uh, for knitting it if you want to. It's, it's two rectangles, you knit it in the round. The detail down the front is a slip stitch. And this was really cool how they did the how she did the top. So you've got some detail up on the top and then you just pick up sleeves and go on your merry way. So this is a very beginner friendly kind of or kind of sweater. It could actually be your first sweater. Um, it would be perfectly fine for your first sweater. If you've already knit a sweater, this is really super simple. Um, the next one we have had multiples and multiples of is the Mimi Co. And this is also adorable on everybody. And it's chunky, so you're on like 17s, eight, 17s and 19s, I think maybe 13, 17, and 19. It's a very chunky yarn, it's our Yusha. We do a lot of winter sweaters out of our Yusha. And um, so this is an excellent choice again, just have them pick colors. Um, it's oversized, so the fit isn't, both of these are oversized, everything is oversized. So you're not having to really make sure um, the measurements are perfect. Um, but this is, so Mimiko is also an option. That would be good. And then the Alma, which I'll put up here because she's on a mannequin and I can't, you know, doesn't work. <laughs> so here's Alma. And this is out of the Wind Q, which is a, uh, hold on, off camera. I think it's Merino silk, but, oh, it's cotton. Cotton silk. I knew that. <laughs> I just had Merino on my mind. <laughs> okay, cotton silk. 
And again, this is a top down in the round. You don't end up with any sewing. Um, it's it's a great, it looks great on everybody. It's just one of those things that looks great on everybody. We have quite a few colors. We have a full stocking of the wind cue right now. So that would also be a really, really great sweater to do. So, um, okay, and the other sweater, this is a summer sweater, but you know, you can knit it anytime you want. Um, and it's, it's uh, highly popular at the store is the Cancun sweater. So this one is two rectangles. You do these little pad lace patterns. They're all like knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. You can um, switch up patterns. It's pretty flexible. You can, it doesn't have sleeves. I added some sleeves onto mine, but if it, it doesn't have sleeves, but because it's oversized, the, the top of it, you know, goes down to about there, just droops down there. So it's like a, sort of a cap sleeve, but not. So anyway, but the Cancun is also a really good choice for a sweater to be knitted and it's fun, fun colors. And again, a lot of choices on yarns class, as I've said very many times, is knit a swatch. So come get your yarn, knit your swatch, at least three by three minimum, <laughs> like cast on 30 stitches and then knit. <laughs> and then um, bring a garment that fits the way you want this particular sweater to fit. It can be a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be a sweater. We just want to get measurements off of it. So mainly it's how loose do you want the sweater to be? You know, and so find something you have that you like that's that that kind of looseness and bring that with you because that's where we get all the, the measurements off of. And that makes the sweater pretty foolproof. I've yet had anybody really, a sweater really not work out because we got the measurements off a garment and not off your body. So, uh, so if you're coming to the class, that's what you want to have done by class and the class is on the 22nd. So I think that's like two, a week and a half away. Um, yeah. So that's our sweater class coming up. Okay, so coming up August 5th is this Nomi ornament. I haven't made it up yet. He's next on my list. <laughs> is this Nomi ornament uh, that that's just cute and fun. And this is a great multiple situation. You know, if you've got multiples of things to do, this is a really good one to do multiples of. And so we'll have that class is on Saturday, August 5th from 10 to 12. And just come in, you know, get your supplies easy, easy peasy, but start, start, start getting that pump primed, you know? Okay. And the last bag, the last bag, <laughs> the last class is a bag. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm doing a crochet bag and here's a picture of it. Now the colors they use, come on people, that red does not go with the squares. <laughs> it doesn't coordinate with the squares. So ignore the colors and just look at the bag. <laughs> So these are my colors that I'm doing. So this is a granny square, simple granny square. So you will need to know the basics of crochet. You can hold your hook and you can do, you know, single crochets or double crochets that, that you need to be able to do that. I can't teach you to crochet. Now this class isn't until August 12th. So if you want to learn to crochet and make this bag, that we can do. You just come in and we'll do a private and I'll get you crocheting and I'll get you crocheting on the granny squares right away. So you know what you're doing and then you would be able to do the bag too. Okay. So this is, this is what I've got so far. Now I've got, I've got all my stripes, strips, strips. These aren't stripes. These are strips. And then, um, it's going to be about that size because these are side ones here. So it's going to be about that size. So I have all my strips and I'm starting to put together. So my colors, I use this yarn, the wind cue, and I use, this is the Karen. So we got a Karen's bag. We got a wind cue sweater. We have a multiple of the two bag. <laughs> so very versatile yarns. <laughs> so that's what I'm using for mine. And um, I, it'll probably be up in the store next week because it's, it's on its, you know, it's almost done. So those are the classes coming up for Christmas ideas to get yourself going and, you know, take advantage of this, get yourself going and have fun in a class and start, you know, working on it. And, but not all by yourself, because it's sort of hard sometimes to be working on it all by yourself. Come to one of the classes and start working on it together and we'll get it done. It's the only way to go. <laughs> all right. And then we have an event coming up on July. Yeah. July 22nd. Yes, Saturday, July 22nd from 12, 12 to 3, one of our wonderful knitters, the knitter, the knitter of many rainbow coats, and I'm going to put a picture up here because you, you'll know who she is, um, wrote a book. And so she's been working on this book for a very long time. It's been published now. It's poems, short stories, and essays. It's called The Book, and it's Lupe, and that's the book. 
And so she will have books here and be signing at the studio because we love her. And so we're gonna be signing at the studio between 12 and three and there'll be, you know, refreshments and all that kind of good stuff. So come and join us for our party. All right, that is short and sweet for the day. And I hope to see you in the studio real soon. Bye.